as you can see guys it is all go 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 at selvage rebuilds in 2021 we got the range rover classic up at the paint shop we're waiting for that to come back we're waiting on a bracket system for the new mercedes and parts for that the peugeot's got to go up to the paint shop so we've decided to get on with the next project 2020 20 reg range rover evoke bit of front end light lower down damage we're going to get it off the truck get it in the workshop and start the process of stripping it down I cut that quite short outside guys because it was tipping it down i really wanted to get it inside let's start off by saying if you are new to the channel when you're watching this video please consider subscribing we've got plenty more to come so range rover evoke dynamic hse very very nice car only 9,000 miles 2020 model absolutely beautiful and immaculate apart from the obvious damage sorry guys it is quite tight here because we've got it on the little ramp so that we can get both doors open on the two poster we struggled to get the doors open so as you can see that is really the bit that sticks out the most we've got a pedestrian protection airbag now this flew out and it covers the windscreen once it goes off it is quite difficult to show because it is a large thing and all it's done it's popped these actuators up that are behind here and there's a shear off bolt here on the hinge that just throws it up and protects it i won't pull that down because chris's torch is under there but it throws the back of the bonnet up in the air so they do do new shear off bolts and obviously we're going to have to put a couple of actuators in it we don't know the extent of the damage but standing here you can see that front lower section is quite far back and there's all aluminium bars behind there so we're just going to crack straight on get that front bumper removed so that we can start doing a bit of an assessment and obviously a parts list let's crack on and get it just done before we do get started you probably can't really see that too well but that's that little shear off bolt and it's a six mil hex Chris just chucked it on the end and managed to wind those out. So that's the little six mil hex there. Four, what is it? Sorry, four mil. Yeah, he managed to get it on there and actually wind those out. So until we get a couple of those ordered up, we're going to put two nice bolts in it and hold it because we want that bonnet to be as open as far as we can and that's preventing it from opening. So guys, as usual, with a damaged car when you're buying it, you've got to expect the worst. And although it looked like it is very light damaged, and I described it straight away as light damaged, it is a little bit worse than I thought. It's not the end of the world. It's going to need fixing regardless. But you can see it has had a little impact here, which has ruined that bumper bar, which is a shame because that's another part that we're going to have to buy. But it's actually bent all this lower bar is actually supposed to be out here and you can see where the way it tapers in all the way down and it's actually bent there and again you've got these extensions and that's actually all kinked and you can see it's kinked down there that aluminium bar and that's actually meant to be I don't think it's meant to be straight it'd be too long but that's you can see that that's all bent as well silly little things like the hooter there that's all broken that's going to need replacing you've got the little motor there for the louvers again the motor looks okay but that other half of it's probably part of it we don't know so and the charge cooler behind there intercooler that actually looks fine but it has done air comrade water rad and the fan again i can't see that until we strip it right out but luckily there's no chassis damage at all and these metal brackets here that go from the top to the bottom are actually, they actually unbolt. So that's not gonna be a problem. We can get on and get that done. So let's move on and strip some more out, see what we got. So 
So moving along quite nicely there, guys. Got most of, mostly stripped out everything that we want to now. The only thing really left is this actual bracket. As you can see, we've just had a quick look. We've not done one before, but it looks like you undo the bolts and this actual metal section slides over the end of that chassis cap there. But you can see that's the main damage, that part there. Also, all three radiators are toast and the fan is as well. We got a air comrad on there. We think that one's the charge cooler, water radiator, and obviously the fan as well. And they're all broken, so they're gonna need replacing. I have found quite a lot of bits for this repair before we pick the car up. So hopefully we'll be all right there. We've got a lot of parts. The headlights are both fine. We've got a lot of parts spread out all over the floor because we're just gonna put aside everything that needs replacing and then we know we've got the originals to compare it all to and of course to get the part numbers. So the actual bumper reinforcer itself, I can show that a bit better now that it's off the car. Let me just zoom out a little bit there. So you can actually see the damage on that now and you couldn't really see that on the car, which is a shame. But I suppose, again, it's designed. Once it's had a little tap in the front there, it actually splits it and it stops it from bending these. And exactly the same the other side. The bottom bar, which I thought was going to be toast, actually turns out it hasn't got any damage on it. It's fine. But those bars I was on about, they bolt just up underneath. And you can see, actually, I'm trying to show as much as I can here. You can see it's actually snapped off of there and it has one bolt holding it on. There's no damage from here backwards beyond that point. And again, no chassis damage. So that's going to be okay. And there's the little bar that I was just talking about that's broken off. So you can see that little mounting point there has broken off under there. And originally it sits something like that, but obviously it's meant to be straight. So we need to get two of those as well. But that is quite nice that we don't need that bumper bar. A lot of stuff you think, oh, this is going to need changing and that's going to need changing. But it's amazing how much you really can save on these little cars. Like that plastic top panel there, there's no damage on it at all. So we'll be reusing that. This rubber surround here, it's just a plastic rubber surround. That actually comes with the new Rad Pack. So we won't be needing to buy one of those. There's loads and loads of trims and bits and pieces in the bumper skin. So that's good. And this bit here is actually your pedestrian safety. What would you call this? Trigger. Yeah. So basically behind here, I'll try and put one of these out. You can see there's a little pipe in there. And that pipe's actually all, already pressurised, pre-charged. And what it does, if you have an impact, it pushes the air, forces it down to the ends. And you've got these little sensors here. And that's exactly what set off that bonnet airbag. So it's, it's not as bad as... It, they always look terrible because there's so much plastic. Look at all that lot down there. You'd think, God, how am I going to find out where all that goes? But it, hey, guys, it turns out... You can see on the end, little hinges. These are just the louvers. And these are, obviously they open and close. And where they go on the front panel, they're all just broken. So the new, uh, the new front panel that goes on here will come with all the lo new louvers on it. And you can see, I've unplugged that little motor. I'm not sure where I'll put that. I think it's still attached to the front, the bit of front panel that I took off. But I noticed one of them little motors hanging down here earlier and I mentioned it, there it is in the video. And I wasn't 100% sure if that was for the louvers, but it just turns out that I had to unplug another one exactly the same at the top. So that's exactly what that is. And that actually looks like that survived as well because it just bolts to the front panel with a couple of screws and they're both still there and nothing seems to be broken. So what are we going to move on to now, Chris? Strip them radiators out and strip that last bit of damage off yeah. so that we're ready to start the reassembly once we get some bits for it. So we're going to crack on, get all those radiators off and get this damaged part off. just 
thought, guys, it'd be a lot easier for me to just come out and place everything on the trailer, all of the damaged parts that we've actually taken off, just so that we knew everything and I could go down through the list and just mark every single bit that we need. But even little bits, like right at the last minute, we noticed that stepper pump that goes on the bottom of the rad cowling, that's broken. I mean, all these bits are mega, mega expensive for this car. So we've got to try and make sure that we get everything that we can use and not from the dealer. You've got all of the brackets there, the front lower panel bumper bar. I've shown quite a lot of this already, so I'll try not to repeat myself. That airbag made all the difference once we removed that. Just made everything look tidy. Um, the horn, one of those is destroyed. These bars, we don't know the exact shape they're meant to be until we get new ones, but there's the one that took the majority of the impact. And as you can see, it's split and bent right round. And this one's quite squashed, so I should imagine that that's got to come back quite far this way as well. The pedestrian bar in there with that pipe that pushes when you have an accident and what sets that airbag off. Got all the rad fans there, all three of them. And this front bumper, guys, this is the one that's going to be quite difficult work to find i have been having a little look through the internet and they do so many different variations of this bumper i should imagine there's only a few of this one and on the inside edge i've noticed on one that's on ebay in particular it's got like part number for the bumper and then part number for this grill that grill that grill this black trim that black trim everything is separate some haven't got these parking sensors on the side some have only got them on the front some are in different places this black trim down here they do it in all different colors and unfortunately this one is cracked so we're gonna to have to get one of them it looks like the two black trims outside may have survived so we might be lucky there but as you can see those one of those fins is broken so that's really the bit that i think we're going to struggle with and probably going to have to buy quite a lot of parts from the dealer i've had a quick look and you can see the parking sensors there but here it's actually ripped one off so we're probably going to have to go with a new loom for that front bumper and a new parking sensor the last thing we did notice when we'd finished stripping all that off we was quietly confident that we'd stripped off all the damage and Chris said, oh, look at the oil cooler on the gearbox. So let's go in and I'll show you that now. So guys, there is the little culprit gearbox oil cooler I was talking about. And as you can see, if I've been right down there, that union is actually almost snapped off. We noticed that right at the last minute. And it is nice now as well to show that everything is all stripped off. And it actually looks a lot, lot better now that all the damage is removed from the car. I suppose we better get on and order some bits. So it's a few days later now, guys, and as you can see, we've just had a huge delivery of the parts for the Evoke. I know quite a lot of you do get concerned and worried. We unpacked it with gloves. We've burnt all of the cardboard on the log burner, and we have just sanitised everything. You can see it's covered just to, you know, protect ourselves. So, you can tell the delivery men Christmas is over because this has all arrived very, very quickly. And we're really happy because there's quite a lot of little tiny bits that I didn't actually order and they've arrived with this parcel. So the horns, I never asked for the horns. This one was destroyed on our car, as you know, and it's arrived and it's got the horn on it. Those are those bars that I was trying to explain how bent they was or what they was supposed to look like. You can see we've got those now. These silver, what would you call them? Impact re reinforcer extensions. We didn't actually order those. We've got those on the car, but they come with it anyway. New bumper bar. New trigger, trigger for the bonnet airbag is there. And, of course, the new bonnet airbag is there. All the louvers are there. And we've got the upper one there as well, a new one. And a rad pack with a fan and all three of the radiators the bonnet actuators that set off the uh, blew the bonnet up in the air of course we've got those wheel arch liner that was the only one that was broke and that little pump as well we managed to get a new one of those and all of these bits are so expensive 
So we was gonna move on and actually crack on and start fitting all of this back on the car because, well, it's famous last words, but it should be reasonably easy to put back together. But unfortunately, we have had to order that oil cooler from the main stealer. And that is, you know, we got to wait for that to arrive. So as soon as that does arrive, we can crack on and get all this fitted. <clears throat> Excuse me. Guys, just unrelated quickly, for those of you that did watch it or didn't watch it, if you didn't, please go back and do so. I just wanted to quickly show you around Chris's Viva engine. Now it is completely done. He's done all the leads. He's put it all back together. All the pipe work is on there. All of the little hoses and everything's done. I really did want to show that because people did ask about seeing that. And yeah, Black Sump is back on there. I know quite a lot of you told me off for saying silver to Chris. So uh, yeah, back to black. So yeah, really happy with that. We still got to find that front bumper. I don't expect any of you guys have got one. And I, I know that you'll probably just do the same as me and look on eBay. I am flicking through every night, but if anyone has got one of them front bumpers or knows anyone, if you could send me the number. I mean, guys, I know it might sound a little bit rude, but don't worry about sending me links for eBay. I am going to trail right through there. So I don't want you to sit there and use up some of your time trying to find it when uh, when I'm looking as well. So that's going to be the end of today's video. Another cracking little project, and we're working our way through it really fast to get it turned around and get it out the door. I did just want to mention, guys, I did mention it in a previous video. If anyone knows where there's any old classic cars sitting in barns, garages, or cars with a bit of damage on them that are for sale, do reach out to us on Instagram, send us the price, the details of the car, and your telephone number, and I'll get back to you. I did put it in a last video, and I received quite a lot of links for Facebook, barn finds, etc. And guys, we don't have Facebook, we just have YouTube and one Instagram account. So if you want to reach out to us on there, we'd really, really appreciate it. If you do enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merchandise. The link is in the description. We'll see you all very, very soon in the next one.